Let me begin by answering one of the most pressing and personal questions students have asked me since I started teaching here. How many flannel shirts do you own? <laughs> Perhaps coming as a surprise to many in the audience, the answer to that question is only three. So now that we already have that taken care of, I guess I should take up the rest of my time here on stage by answering another frequently asked question. Why did you decide to teach? I have spent nearly all of my life in a school of some sort, navigating through a PhD program and a postdoc research position at two of the world's top academic institutions afforded me the chance to change lives with my research. Though ultimately, I found that path to be unfulfilling. I needed to be more connected, more personal, and more proximate in the impact of my work. If changing lives sounds too ambitious, I at least wanted to change perception of what it means to learn, to inspire thinkers and risk takers not educated sheep on the pursuit of superficial standards for success. Every kid is inherently curious. As infants, we learn by observing and imitating. As we learn to gain control of our bodies, we start to explore the world around us through more than just our eyes. We reach out, we grab hold of things, we feel texture and temperature. We learn that dogs are cute, and a cat that exposes its belly is just an imitation for cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> we learn so much through those curious childhood explorations. School teaches us how to properly quantify things. That books and the experts and the advice and coaching from those who have come before us has allowed each of us to learn at a rate that far exceeds what could be gained through curious exploration alone. What bothers me, though, is that many students coming through the classroom seem to have lost the curiosity that once dared them to take risks. Fear of failure has precluded a willingness to even try. Yet, the most rewarding experiences in life are overcoming the very things that were the most challenging. I am three years and however many days into teaching as a career. So I don't necessarily feel qualified to stand on the TEDx stage and deliver some kind of wisdom about pedagogy in the classroom. Teaching high school is the most difficult thing I have ever done. I'm lucky if I get to sit down, eat lunch, or even go to the bathroom during a typical school day. <laughs> if any of you think that is an exaggeration, I invite you to shadow me for a day, or better yet, an entire week. To be honest, I am standing here exhausted, thinking about the stack of papers I need to go home and grade, the project feedback I need to give, and wondering when I'll get to spend a full weekend with my wife. I know there are so many teachers out there who deal with a lot more than I do on a day-to-day -day basis, so I have a newfound respect for teachers everywhere. Our job goes way beyond simply delivering subject matter. The teacher's role is one of constant change and adaptation. I want my students to learn something far more than the subject I teach. After all, delivering subject matter is the easy part. To be ordained as the best physics teacher ever on a framed piece of binder paper is quite the honor, and I mean that humbly and wholeheartedly. That students would make the effort to get Dr. Derek Muller, creator of the YouTube channel Veritasium, to bestow such a gift is beyond impactful. So let's just ignore the fact that I'm also the only physics teacher they've ever had. <laughs> and I want to acknowledge and thank my own high school physics teacher, Mr. Khan, as he is one of the primary inspirations that has led me to this stage tonight. In his own words, you have to think. Objective feedback is one of the only ways for me to assess how impactful I am on a student's learning. So instead of standing here and talking to you, I'll share some of their feedback with you now. Well, play me, baby, like an old guitar I don't care where you stop and start My days are lonely and my nights are hard So play me, baby, like an old guitar Hit me, honey, like a beat-up drum All the way till your hands go numb All the way back to where I'm from So play me, baby, like an old guitar Like an old love song, baby, take me everywhere you run. It's been 
Just the two classes I had with you changed my whole experience at York. Many of my best high school memories came out of your physics class. Physics was one of the only classes I got to apply the knowledge I learned to a hands-on project. I remember that I always looked forward to my Algebra 2 class. I believe I went from a skeptical physics student to a curious, independent thinker in your class. I attribute much of my success as a student in high school to your guidance. You never let me quit in the middle of a problem but challenged me to push through uncharted intellectual territory. Even if I didn't understand something, you made me feel comfortable in learning from my mistakes and finding ways to fix them for the next time. Your teaching encouraged me to challenge myself more when it came to academics. This strong foundation rebuilt my confidence and my ability in math. I'm so thankful to have been and continue to be a part of robotics, for it has made a huge impact in helping me decide what major I wish to apply for. You were instrumental in giving me the foundation and confidence to take on new challenges in and outside of the class. The physics class I took at York was not just a regular physics class. I did not expect to complete two engineering projects that were planned, designed, constructed, and tested solely by students. You have forced me far past my comfort zone and seen me through both success and failure, all the while assuring that I was provided the room to grow as a person. Your physics class was the closest thing I've ever had to a project-based learning course. I learned how important a passionate teacher is to a student. You've truly helped me realize my passion for the sciences, and I sincerely thank you for that. Teaching has given me the opportunity to stand here tonight and share the stage with the former astronaut. And while that is something I will certainly remember from this experience, so too is the chance to share the stage with such wonderful promises of the future. Those promises are the reason I teach. To quote the Avett brothers from their aptly named song, Head Full of Doubt, Road Full of Promise, decide what to be and go be it. I am a teacher, I am a coach, I am a friend. What do you want to be? Thank you. Thank you.